Hi friends, welcome to the Digital Graphic Designer YouTube channel. Today we are going to see logo creation with neon glow effect in Coral Draw. So without wasting a time, let's get started. First of all, import the image and to import the image go to file menu and then click on import you can also press ctrl plus i or command plus i from the keyboard import window will pop up then click on the image and then click on import drag the cursor now put this image aside for some time then go to the toolbar and click on ellipse tool now hold control or command key from the keyboard and drag the cursor to create an even shaped circle now we are going to create a background for our image and for that go to toolbar then choose rectangle tool and then drag the cursor to create a rectangle now fill it with black color and press P from the keyboard to place the rectangle to the center of the page. Now place the circle to the center of the page and for that with the circle selected press P from the keyboard it will place the circle to the center of the page automatically. Now change the color of the outline of circle and for that go to color palette and then right mouse click on white color swatch then choose set outline color. Then Go to the property bar again and set the outline width of the circle at two points. Rescale the circle. Now with the circle selected, go to the toolbar and then choose shadow tool. Now go to the property bar and from the drop down select medium glow. Now come to the property bar again. You can see some settings here in the first setting shadow opacity. Keep the shadow opacity at 100% then shadow feathering adjust the shadow feathering at 4 points then set the feathering direction to the outside. Now change the color of the shadow to cyan and keep the merge mode to normal. Now select the shadow and go to the object menu and choose break drop shadow apart or you can also press ctrl plus k or command plus k from the keyboard it will separate the shadow from the circle then with the shadow selected convert this shadow into bitmap and for that go to bitmaps menu and then choose convert to bitmap convert to bitmap property panel will pop up set the resolution to 300 dpi and the color mode to rgb color then hit ok now Go to the toolbar, choose transparency and from the property bar, choose fountain transparency. Adjust the transparency. Now we will apply the shadow effect to the circle again and follow the same process that we have followed before to apply the shadow effect to the circle. Now we are going to work on our image. First of all, we need to remove the background of the image and for that with the image selected, go to the toolbar and then choose Bezier tool. Then create nodes and outline around the subject. You need not to be very perfect at this stage because we will adjust it later. After creating outline around the subject, go to the toolbar and then choose shape tool. Now 
drag the shape cursor and select all the nodes on the outline and then go to the property bar and then click on the convert to curve button now select the outline and then select the nodes one by one and with the help of these handles adjust the shape of the curve or outline according to the image After creating and adjusting the outline around the subject in the image, with the image selected, right mouse click on the image and then choose power clip inside. Then target the arrow inside the outline and you can see the background from the image is removed now. Now go to the color palette and click on first swatch and then choose set outline color. It will remove the outline from the image and the image is look like a PNG image. Now place the image into the circle and adjust the position according to your design. You can see some parts of the image is overlapping the circle. For that select the overlapping circle. For that select the overlapping parts of the image with Bezier tool and for that go to toolbar and then select Bezier tool. After selecting the overlapping part of the image, hold shift from the keyboard and select the outline and the image and then go to the property bar and then choose trim. It will remove the unwanted part of the image. Now delete the outline also. You can see the image needs some adjustments here and for that go to the toolbar and then choose shape tool. Now select the nodes and adjust the shape of the image with the help of these handles. Now you can see your image with neon glow effect is almost ready. Finally we are going to add one more effect that our effect looks more realistic and eye catchy and for that go to the toolbar and then choose rectangle tool and create a rectangle over the image. Now go to the toolbar again and then choose interactive field tool from the property bar choose fountain fill. Now change the colors of the nodes. Select the magenta color and then the second color is cyan. These are the colors of the shadow we have already applied to the circle. Now go to the toolbar again and then choose in the transparency tool and from the drop down select overlay you can see it will apply the colors of the rectangle to the image and it look like a shadow colors are reflecting on the image you can also adjust the opacity from the opacity box below the rectangle your image with neon glow effect is ready now enjoy your effect so friends if you like the video please like the video comment and please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to get notified with our latest videos. And for more tutorials visit our website pixeldesign.com. Thank you.